God children bana asifiwe watoto hamjambo habari yenu ya leo mmeamka vyema nami nimeamka vyema naitwa Tita Margaret nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu niliokoka nikiwa kasichana kadogo na nikaanza kufunza Sunday school nikiwa mtoto mdogo until now i bless god for his faithfulness today i want us to learn about prayer but before then let us pray father in the name of jesus we thank you this morning for giving us a very good time that we may worship you that we may honor you that we may hear from you as we continue learning about prayer holy spirit of god we pray that you may come and teach us and guide us and help us to understand for the glory and honor of the name of the lord in jesus name we do pray and believe amen everybody say amen sema tena kwa sauti everybody say amen okay today i want us to learn about prayer what is prayer kila mtu anaomba wangapi walioba asubuhi how many we spread a prayer to god this morning good that is good and you know that we need to pray every time every day when you wake up in the morning you need to pray when you are going to sleep you need to pray when you are going to school you need to pray every time is prayer time so that is why i want us to remind ourselves about prayer and before i start the topic let us sing a short chorus read your bible pray every day pray every day pray every day read your bible pray every day if you want to grow if you want to grow if you want to grow read your bible pray every day if you want to grow so we need to pray every day and to me bible ka sema aje you read the bible and then pray because everything that we do and every time we are talking about god we read it from the bible and bible is the book of god but i want us to specify with prayer what is prayer prayer is communicating with god what do i mean i mean that when you are praying you need to pray and god will hear and then he will answer that is why we say prayer is communication because you should know that when you are praying god will hear and then he will answer why do we say this because god created ears how many of you have ears can you touch your ears these are my ears so god created ears so he himself have got has got his own ears hata yana masikio yake na yeye anasikia kwa hivyo yeye ambaye alikupea masikio hata yako na yake yeye alikupatia mdomo guza mdomo wako kila mtu akona mdomo guza mdomo si uko na mdomo na mimi niko na mdomo na mdomo ndio inaongea na hata Mungu ako na mdomo hata yeye anaongea that is why tumesema prayer is communicating with God so every time when you pray know that you are talking to God and God will talk to you he can talk to you even through his word so it is always good to pray Then when we are praying we need to tell him everything. There are things that you cannot tell your mommy, there are things that you cannot tell your friend, but if you tell God, he will hear because we have said that he have got ears. He has ears, he can hear. We should know that God created eyes so he can also see you when you are praying. Remember this story about two boys 
who were told to go and break eggs in the forest. And then they were told that go. When you see that nobody is seeing you, you need to break them. One of them broke and then went back. The other one said that there is nobody but God can see me. So even when you are praying, when you are kneeling down, God can see you when you are praying. So because we are in prayer, let us continue with prayer. But remember, God sees you, God hears you, and God can speak to you. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, do not be anxious about anything. Usijalishwa na chochote. Ebu se maivyo. Sita jalishwa na chochote. Ebu se maivyo. Sita jalishwa na chochote. Kwa nini? Because, because if I pray, God will hear and he will answer. So the Bible says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With us giving, let your request be known unto God. Usijali, ukimwambia mungu, atasikia. Na kisikia, atajibu. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord, children. So we are talking about prayer. Then the Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, can you say that? Ask in prayer. Believe that you have received. Praise the name of the Lord and it will be yours. So when we are talking about prayers, remember God hears. And the Bible says that if we ask anything to God, he is going to hear and he's going to answer. If we, give, if we pray for peace, he'll give us peace. If we pray for our parents that God may bless them, God will bless them. If we pray for school fees, God will give our parents. Anything that you pray for, God will hear. Praise the name of the Lord. And then when you pray, believe, have faith that after I pray, it will happen. It shall come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. So it is in prayer that we receive everything that we need from God. And then when we have faith, and we shall be done for us. I remember of a young boy who went to Sunday school. And the teacher taught them that if they pray, and they believe and they have faith in God as the Bible has told us. We can tell a mountain to move and that mountain can move. So this boy went home and told the mother, you know what mother? Our Sunday school teacher told us to kiomba na tuamini ata kama ni mlima mkubwa utaondoka. And so the boy told the mother, you see that mountain over there? I am going to pray. And I know it And so the mother was like, Ah, Akamambia, yes. It was the Sunday school teacher who told us. If we pray and believe and have faith, it atoka. So, mom, just hear me pray. Akasama, Father, in the name of Jesus. I want that mountain to move from there in Jesus' name. Amen. So the mother was just looking at the boy, but the Sunday school had told them to pray, and he prayed. So after some times, there came people, wakaanza kupima barabara, wakasema barabara imepitia katikati ya mli, ya huo mlima. So watu wakaja, those tractors, and then they removed the mountain, wakategeneza jia hapo. So one morning, akakucha kambia, mom, mom, I told you, if you pray and believe, even mountain can be removed. Praise the name of the Lord, children. So we need to pray and also trust in God. Praise the name of the Lord. As children, how can we pray? How can we, how can we be praying every morning? 
Because also the Bible in the book of Matthew 7, 7, the Bible says, ask. So the first thing is to ask. Can you say, ask? How do we ask? What do we ask? We ask when we are praying. What do you ask for? The Bible has told us. Everything. Kide unata? The boy asked the mountain to be removed. Like a talker. Na wewe, utaombea nini? What are you going to ask? Uliza mungu, ask God to give you peace. To give you anything that you need. Because God has everything. Anything that you need. Number two, the Bible says, seek. Kutafuta. Unatafuta gaaje. Eh, unatafuta kitu aje. Eh, kutafuta unatafuta. Kama umepoteza kitu kwa nyumba, unaenda mfunguni mwa kitanda, unatafuta kama imeanguka huko, unapada juu ya kabati, unaenda kwa kitanda, unatoandisha blanket, unaona sasa nilitupa wapi shilingi kumi za angu. Nilipoteza wapi kitabu. When you are seeking, unatafuta. You take your time to seek. And when you are praying, you are seeking God. Praise the name of God, children. The other thing is knocking. Nobody can no open the door without knocking. If you want to enter somewhere, you have first of all to do what? To knock. Unabisha. Bibide inasema nini? Ask, seek, and knock. Wewe goga goga. And when you are praying to God, what are you doing? You are knocking. And God will open that door for you. Praise the name of the Lord, children. So today, I want us to learn something very good. Do you have hands? Can I see your hands? These are my hands. Can you raise one hand up? Can you open your fingers? How many fingers do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Are they the same? No. So I want us to be praying every day using our fingers. Because God has given us fingers. Number one, we'll start with the, this one. I think it's the biggest. It is the fattest. Siju ya mayako ni nono. Kama ya ticha. Si unona ya ticha. Ya ticha imenona kidogo. Lakini ni fupi. Lakini aiko opa moja na hizi. Lakini kwa kwa mko. Kwa kwa mkono. So number one, every day when you wake up. Fanya kidole chako na mna hii. Ukifanya hivi, unajua na kuambia aje. You pray for your family. So every day you wake up, worship God, repent your sins before God, and then you start praying for your family. Kama mefumba macho, unafanya hivi. Unasema, this tichali niambia, when I use this finger, it reminds me of praying for my family. Pray for your daddy, pray for your mommy, Pray for your shosho, kama unaka na shosho, kama unaka na guka, pray for your guka, kama unaka na anko ama auntie, pray for your auntie every morning, pray for your sisters, pray for your brothers, tell God to bless them, tell God to do anything good for them. So every morning when you are kneeling down, or you are sitting down on that bed, on that chair, do like this. When you do like this, you, it reminds you that you, be, you need to be praying for your family. Ombea familia yako. Number two, unafanya aje hivi. Unaona hiki kidole? Kinaerekeza mtu. Kikosea mama na kwambia nini? Wewe. Wewe. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu, this one, inatukumbusha nini? We be praying for people on authority. Praise the name of the Lord. Can you do like this? Can you do like this? Every child fanya hivi? Fanya hivi? Yes. Ukifanya hivi kama umefumba macho, inakumusha nini? Pray for the people on authority. Who are these people? Pray for bishop. Pray for reverends. Pray for pastors. Pray for your Sunday school teacher. Pray for your teacher at school. Pray for the president. For the deputy. Pray for your MCA. Do you have MCA? Pray for him or her. Pray for MPs. Pray for anybody on authority. Wale wote viongozi wetu. Pray for them. Are we together? Yes. Fanya hivi. 
Have we prayed for our the, the people on authority? Amen. Sasa tu naomba umefumba macho. Unachukua hiki kidole. Si ni kikubwa. Hebu fanya hivi. It is the tallest. Zangu sijui ama zako, lakini for me this one is the tallest. Unafanya hivi. When you are doing this, you are praying for the country. We pray for our nation. Like now kila mtu anasema mambo yameharibika. Mambo ni magumu. Usiseme hivyo. Just pray for our nation. Pray that God will bless our nation, that there will be no accidents in our nation, that there will be money. There will be anything that you want in our nation. Pray for our nation. Eh hata el nino ikija isibebe watoto, isibebe watu. Pray that every rain ambayo itanyesha it will be a blessing itatupatia food itatupatia maji because water is life so we need to pray for our nation and we pray that God be bless our nation and that is why every morning when we are going to school for parade tunasema nini we sing this national anthem oh god of all creation bless our land and nation so even when you are singing that song know that you are praying for our nation and this when you do like this remember when you are closing your eyes you are praying for our nation children are we together praise the lord can you stand up can you stretch yourself a bit sit down Let us go to this one. Hii tunaiona vizuri sana. Kama ya tita iko imewekwa pepe hapa. Unaiona hapo? Na hiki kidole ni cha muhimu sana. Lakini wacha nikwambie. When you are raising this finger or you are touching it when you are praying. It reminds you of praying for the needy people. The poor people. The needy people. Kuna watu wako na shida. Kuna watu wanalala ncha. Kuna watu wanaenda bila mavazi. Even before you give them your dress, even before you give them your shoe, remember first of all to pray for them. I believe you will be able to pray for those who are in need. Praise the name of the Lord, children. Now the last one, it is the smallest. Tunakaona ni kadogo. Ukitaka kusugua masikio unafanya aje? Hivyo, kwa sababu ni kadogo. Haka ukiinua hivi, unakumbuka unastahili kujiombea. You pray for yourself. You pray for yourself. Now, after praying for others, remember to pray for yourself. Remember to tell God to bless you, tell God to forgive you, tell God all your needs. Tell God to protect you, tell God to guide you. Tell God anything that you want him to do for you. And because you have started with others, and you are the last one to pray for yourself, God will bless you. Mungu atakubariki. Mungu atakuinua. Mungu ataku tenda mema so can we remind ourselves what we have learned today how we ought to pray every day so that we may not forget anybody number one, can you say after the teacher pray for the family again pray for our family members number two, pray for the people on authority bishop pastors teachers those ones Number three, pray for our nation. I think nation is bigger than because we live in that nation. So number three, remember to pray for our nation. Number four, pray for the need day. Hapa tumesema usisahau. Kama wewe ulikula jana ukashiba, kuna mtu alilala nja. Kama wewe una mavazi ya kubadilisha, kuna mwingine hana. Kama una viatu pea tatu, ukumbuke kuna mwingine hana so pray for that child pray for that person who is needy and who is poor and the last one we remind ourselves we pray for ourselves we also need god and we need god to bless us so let us continue praying 
Remember those five things, they'll guide you how to pray. Can we sing a song? Let us sing a song about prayer because every day we need to whisper a prayer to God. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper a prayer in the evening to so keep your heart in tune. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for giving us this good and wonderful time to be in your presence, even to learn about prayer. We thank you and we bless your name. Help us and teach us how to pray. In Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Everybody say, Amen. Bye-bye, children. Meet next time. God bless you. Amen.